Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, look at how God is silencing your enemy. I say again, God is silencing your enemy. Hallelujah. Now they are going moot. They are going moot. They are going silence and they are going inside. Inside, they are going into hiding. Now hear me very well. Remember how everyone were quick to talk about you when you were going through some difficulties in life. Remember how everyone was quick to conclude on you when you were going through some difficulties in life. You know this message, I can relate to it very well. Remember how everyone were quick to hold a meeting, how they were quick to make calls, how they were quick to bring you down, how they were quick to say all sorts of things about you when you were going through difficulties. Your try time reveal who was there and who was not there. Your try time expose who was real and who was fake. Your try time expose who was, you know, some things that happened to us, we are like, oh, why did this thing happen? But along the line, we realize that those situations, those things need to happen. Because if it did not happen, we will not even know where we are. We will just be living like a blind person. Some event that took place in our life, it happens so that God can open our eyes to see beyond what we were seeing before. When some things happen in your life, you, you realize that your eyes are very open. Until those things happen, you will not even know that your eyes are open. You will just be living like a blind person. Hallelujah. You were the talk of the whole places, the talk of the town. When you were going through difficulties, when you were going through hell, when you were experiencing some situation, everyone quickly turned on you. Everyone quickly turned on you. But now, child of God, they are going moot. They are going moot. Do you know why the Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, said they were like them that dream. Then the hidden says among themselves, He said that God has done great things for them. And we say our God has done great things, marvelous things for us. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. What happened? What happened after all the talk they talk? After all the talk, they make you the talk of the town. When you were going through some shit, going through some hell, going through some struggles, some difficulties, what happened when they see that God had turned the situation around? The same mouth that spoke against you, they go moot. They go into hiding. They go into isolation. They hide to look at you. They can no longer come out so boldly to you now. Why? Because they have closed the road. They have closed the road because I know how this feels. 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 When I mean I know how this feels, I know how it feels. Seriously. Seriously. When I was experiencing some difficulties about housing and love of that, I know what I went through. Friends extorted, they even extorted money. My the people I called a friend, they stopped money. They used that situation to remove money from my hands. They took a lot. I did not have choice. I was, I was, let me just have it. Let me just have it. At the end of the day, <laughs> oh God, I became the talk of the whole town. Ah, oh, she's this so she does not have a place. She does not have a place. So this so we are trying to help out and they were stopping me. You know, this is a very, you know, it's a very bitter, sweet experience anyway. But thank God for today, all of them, they are moved. And God, when all of that happens, when God exposed every one of them, the Lord said, daughter, separate yourself. Say, separate yourself, forgive them, 
separate yourself and immediately i tell god i forgive you if there be anything in me that i'm still holding on to help me to still forgive help me i have forgiven though it was hard i have forgiven lord search my heart if i'm still holding anything against them because i'm human forgive me help me to forgive that as well but i have forgiven but i promise not to go close again the lord says separate yourself so in this journey and i realized that that incident happened for god to open my eyes more to be more careful to be more careful as his blessing is coming upon us to for us to be more careful for us to be more careful in order for us not to pollute the blessings that god is giving to us with wrong associate hallelujah now all of them are going with am i homeless i am not homeless even as i speak here right now i am even praying to go look for a house to plan to buy my own house i am not homeless where are those that were talking they have gone to they have gone moot. God have a way of doing his own thing. God have a way of doing his own thing. Child of God, let me tell you, your captivity is not forever. And God is turning it around in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye bye.